When will the millions of Americans being affected in a real financial way by the crisis see concrete action out of Congress that Kevin was just talking about? There is bipartisan opposition tonight to the relief plan that passed over the weekend with Republicans and Democrats pushing for more help for ordinary Americans, while some are concerned about the price tag. Let's talk about when we might get the package done with Senator and Dr. John Barrasso of Wyoming. Good to have you back, Senator. Thank you, Shannon. Okay, so we know that the House did some technical fixes to what they passed just a couple of days ago. I believe it heads to the Senate tomorrow. What's your take on how it will be received there and how the vote may go? People are being challenged all across the country. Shannon, at a time like this, relief is necessary by the government. We want to do it that doesn't burden businesses. This is a government opportunity and responsibility right now to help the American people, the workers, the families. I expect that this is going to pass what comes over from the House, but that's only phase two. Phase one was the medical component, making sure the doctors and the researchers had what they needed. This is the first step, and I wouldn't be surprised if a phase three also passed later this mm -hmm. week, a much bigger piece to help our workers, because, Shannon, with the new things that are happening around the country, people in restaurants and bars that are out of work immediately, I mean, there are immediate needs, and the government has a responsibility to step in. Okay. Um, Senator, or excuse me, Secretary Mnuchin uh, was quoted coming out of a meeting tonight. I know he met with a number of um, GOP senators and will tomorrow. I don't know if you're a part of that, but uh, maybe tomorrow. He says, we'll be looking for support for small and medium-sized businesses. We'll be looking for support for certain industries that we've talked about that are particularly hard hit. I've talked about airlines, hotels, others, and we will be looking at a general stimulus. Um, it is critical at this moment, but there are those who have raised serious questions about uh, whether some of these uh, policies that are very expensive get locked in in a permanent way, even when we're past this crisis, the price tag, how do you answer those concerns? Well, this needs to be targeted and it needs to be temporary. But if you, I think of our small businesses in Wyoming, and that's just about every business in Wyoming, you want to make sure that their employees are, are taken care of, but you want to make sure that by the time this is over, that those businesses have the cash on hand, that they can come back open again and aren't, don't find themselves in a bad situation. So you want to take care of the employees as well as the small businesses, because it's small businesses, Shannon, that supply 70 percent of the jobs in America. Mm -hmm. But until we get the disease itself, this virus under control and get beyond the health component of it, no matter what kind of stimulus you apply, the, the economy will not recover, as the president said today, until we have the virus under control. Okay, I want to play something from Dr. Deborah Burks, um, part of the task force, um, very well respected across numerous um, different administrations. Here is what she said today. We have been working on models um, day and night. What had the biggest impact in the model is social distancing, small groups, not going in public in large groups. And if they, everybody in America does what we ask for over the next 15 days, we will see a dramatic difference and we won't have to worry about the ventilators and we won't have to worry about the ICU beds because we won't have our elderly and our people at the greatest risk having to be hospitalized. Uh, Senator, uh, every country is different. Some are more authoritarian in nature. Others are more freewheeling. We've seen different results in places from Japan and South Korea to Italy and Spain. Do you think what we're doing now with the social uh, distancing and, you know, the canceling of all these major events and now even smaller and smaller groups and events is going to be enough to flatten that curve? Well, I think it's very aggressive and it's very appropriate, and I believe it will as long as people cooperate in ways that we ask folks uh, to do that. You know, there are a lot of young people, and as uh, Dr. Burks also said, it is the millennials who will make the difference in terms of slowing the spread of the disease. The people most vulnerable, if they are in contact, are our seniors, people who are older who also have underlying medical conditions, and that's why the social distancing is so very important. But when you look at South Korea, you know, that is the, the model that we would like to have for the United States rather than what we saw in Wuhan and we're seeing now in, in Italy and across Europe. All right, Senator, um, we wish you all the best as you work on these new packages in the coming days uh, and your work as a physician as well at this important time. Well, people's, people's lives have been impacted. Their livelihoods have been yeah. impacted like nothing they've ever seen before. And the government has a role in providing relief for the American people at this time. We wish folks on the Hill hammering this out. The very best, Senator. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Shannon.